I've been waiting for this for so long. Let's do it, and let's do it now. Hi everyone, James Robinson here. Guys, first things first, welcome back to the channel. Second things second, second thing second, you will notice we are once again at home, we're in the office. Guys, I do hope you are all staying safe. I hope you're all doing what your government are telling you to do or requesting you to do. Today is a very, very, very special video. Guys, before we start as well, make sure you do hit that subscribe button because um, we are nearly there and I'm assuming once the time this video goes out, we may well have hit 100,000 subscribers. So thank you so much to that. But, but today, first of all, we've got a few things I'd like to talk about. So as you'll see here, Put Out have sent us a few goodies. So we've got the initial original Put Out trainer and we also have this mirror and gate, which um, funnily enough, actually, we have um, this can... Uh, this can wait a second. We have two, where is it? There we go. I'm gonna cut straight to the chase, guys. Put out, have amazingly sent us two of these. So I'll put these down carefully because that is a mirror. Guys, you can win one of these. All you have to do, you have to be a subscriber to the channel. You have to like this video and you have to comment below. Just comment below, guys, hashtag stay safe. Because that's what we should all be doing at the moment. We should be practicing our putting and improving our games at home. And hopefully, guys, these will be on the way to you very, very quickly. I'm, I'm not used to filming in here. I don't know where to be. But basically, that's, uh, we, can, we can do away with this now. Also, guys, while we're talking giveaways, make sure you have entered the giveaway for a Garmin Approach G80 thanks to American Golf. That video is linked in the top corner now. Good luck for that. We are drawing that in a couple of weeks' time. I'm going to make the draw for these on my Instagram, which is here, very, very soon. But basically, guys, I got in touch with the guys at Put Out and said, guys, I need one of your, um, I need one of your mats to practice my putting because, because I am absolutely terrible and these things are supposed to be very good. So I'm not gonna lie, it took ages to get one. They've been sold out everywhere, as you can imagine, because everyone is trapped at home, everyone's stuck at home. Hopefully you are still at home. If you need to be at home, if you don't need to be at home, then we're all very, very jealous, but make sure you enjoy it. But like I said, these things are like absolute gold dust. But the reason this video is out today is you can all cheer because if you don't win, some of the goodies. These are back in stock, so the mats are now, oh, um, I'm not sure if I should have kept that in there, but anyway. The mats are now back in stock, so you can get your very own put out mat. I should also say, guys, this isn't an advertisement, this isn't a paid ad, it is just a bit of fun more than anything. And I'm gonna see exactly how hard this is. I never get that right. So you can see here guys, these are the mats that you can get. They are quite heavy duty actually. I'm quite impressed. I didn't expect it to be that thick. Just the perfect length. I think that's about seven feet, would you say? <laughs> I mean, I'm 5'9", so no idea what that looks like. Probably feet are at the end, are they? <laughs> feet are there. Oh. Yeah, seven feet-ish. Yeah, seven feet. So perfect length for an office. This is quite a small enclosed space, as you can see, but it is my little den for the lockdown. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna put the goodies in there, and we're just gonna have a go. So guys, you may have seen me cheat this a little bit because I did get this out the other day for the almost golf ball review, so you can check that video out as well. Uh, how do we set this up? Uh, anyone want to read through that? No, me either. We're just gonna put it out there on the middle here. So hopefully now the idea is you have to get, so the idea now is you have to get the pace and line absolutely perfect for the length put you are hitting. You don't have to use one of these mats, by the way. The mat does help. It gives you obviously an alignment aid and it tells you how far you are for your distances. Just realize that they're obviously foot increments, aren't they? So didn't have to measure that lying down, but I suppose we got a nap anyway. Right, so next thing we're gonna set this up, which is the mirror trainer. And these are so underrated, by the way, it is unbelievable. You get a little safety thing for it as well, which is ideal, because it's a mirror. And look at these. 
loads of stuff in here. So that's the mirror, obviously take the projective film off it or you'll think it's all scratched, it's not scratched. Look at me there, hi, hello. You'll think it's all scratched, it's not scratched. It's abbreviated on the bottom, so it's not gonna move. I'm not gonna bother peeling it. Shall I peel it off? I'm not gonna bother peeling it off for now. So I'm gonna put it, it's the perfect width as well to go in the middle of there, which is ideal. What's in this one? This is either gonna be a gate or Something for a gate. Perfect. Perfect. They're magnetic as well. So now we put the gate together in here. This is in case you didn't know how to set one of these up. Not that anyone would struggle. Oh, that's a... Uh... So now the idea is we stick this in the middle there. So the ball will only just fit through there. And I have to get the club face absolutely perfectly square to where I'm trying to go or the ball won't go through. And as you can see here, this is perfectly set up. Oh, they are so strong as well for the magnets to go there. So then the putter will only just fit through there. And you have yourself a perfect, perfect little putting drill to improve the game. Can we get the drone on this? It's been a while since I've got... It's been a while since I've played with this. Should we, uh... Oh, there we go. How good did that look? Right. Now, next thing next, or first things first, Weapon of choice. So I'm torn this season between a blade style putter like this or something like I used all last year, which was, i tried try doing this with one hand, a mallet style putter like this. So we're going to test that out today and just have a bit of fun with it really and kill a bit more time. Right guys, so apologies for the only camera work that is available, but I'm also going to use the TP5 picks because for me, it really kind of helps get a little bit of feedback on the roll, which is ideal for in here. First things first, does the putter fit through the gate? Um, no, that one doesn't fit through the gate, so I need to alter that a tiny bit. You can see, you can see the gate widths are numbered, so I'm going to move those up to a five on both of them. So that's nice and symmetrical and even. So the putter should glide through them nicely now. Obviously, you will make that a little bit harder as time goes on. The big thing for me now is I get the ball through here. That means I've controlled the putter face perfectly well, then try and get it to stay in the put out holder, holster. Oh, and you can see guys how this is gonna kill so much time for me in isolation and hopefully work on some principles of the stroke. So you can see as well that Using the mirror, not only is it helping my alignment, but it's also helping me how far away I am from the ball. So ideally, I kind of want my eyes over the ball there, not too far over this way and not inside the ball there. Ah, rubbish. Oh. So in my head, I'm keeping a tally of not only how many I've hold, sort of, but how many I get to stay in the holder, because that means they were dead weight and they were perfect. That was horrendous, really bad. Obviously you could put the gate further up, but for me, I need to set it off online quickly. So in the kind of short setting is better for me, I think. Right, not much luck with the blade. Let's go mallet now and see if that does improve at all. Hopefully it, uh, hopefully it will. Go. Oh. So I'll tell you another thing that this gate does as well for me guys is when I had my putting lesson with Chris, he said that I kind of accelerated too much and got the putter to have too much of a follow through there. So it helps me kind of abbreviate the follow through a little bit and just really gets my stroke a little bit more towards where I want it and where I'm working towards with my coach, with my teacher. Guys, remember, it's so important that if you are going to do things like this, if you are going to work on your game, at home in isolation, make sure you do have a second pair of eyes, make sure you send videos to your coach, videos to the person who you are having lessons with, or if you would like some online lessons, then make sure you check out our website as well, 
because we are offering those during isolation. So you see there I caught that and that means that the stroke was too long and really I think you've probably seen enough of this so thank you so much for watching. Huge thank you to the guys that put out for sending the mat and sending the putting aids. It's really going to help my isolation, hopefully it's going to help my putting. Remember guys if you do want to win, where are they? Remember guys if you do want to win your very own put out target and mirror and aim and all the rest make sure you do comment below stay safe or hashtag stay safe should I say. No spaces, hashtag stay safe, like this video, make sure you subscribe, are we there yet? Ah, uh, not quite. Guys, thank you so much, huge thanks for watching, hopefully you are all hashtag staying safe, and I very much look forward to seeing you tomorrow.